Hey everyone, this is My Woodworking Life. I'm Paul Amiski. Today we take a tour of the high coast thanks to Lagasol. Thank you, Lagasol, by the way. Hope you guys enjoy the video. We had a great time. Enjoy the sights and sounds. So good morning everybody. We're all done at Logosol making sawdust, but the great team has arranged for us to tour around the high coast of Sweden. We get to enjoy the beautiful views, we're gonna have some fika, and we're just gonna have a lot of fresh air. So we're excited for the day. Hope you like the views that we're gonna show you. So let's check it all out. You want me to pretend like I'm drinking? <laughs> yeah. Yes, actually. <laughs> Yeah, so the older generation was told, you're not allowed to use tools because you're a woman, that's a that's man. But the younger generation, the mentality's changed to where they're not being told you can't do it, but it's almost like the thought hasn't occurred to them because they don't see women doing it. So then their dads or their uncles or their brothers are watching my videos and the daughter will walk by, they say, and be like, whoa, who is she and what, what is she doing? I didn't know women can do that. But then on the same hand, even young boys are watching and saying, wait, this is also a woman thing. So it's it's, it's that's probably the best part. I tell everybody it's all it's it's just like you can learn how to use a drill just like you can learn how to drive a car. It's it's the same process just learning how to do something safely, how it works, what to not do, what to do. And everybody's capable of it even at younger ages. My niece got into the shop with me and at first she you have to build up the confidence with your knowledge but also your skills, right? So she got into the shop and she wanted to do something but she, all of the tools were intimidating to her. So I started it off with a little brad nailer and then you can't really get hurt unless your hands aren't in the right place. And so she just was like, "Oh, I could do this." And it like built up her confidence where then she wanted to use the jigsaw. And then once she built up her confidence to use that, then she wanted to use the miter saw. And it was just, now she just knows, yeah, but it's the, kind of the same thing. I used to be the only female on the platform, and now, oh, I don't even know how many, but you go to the conferences, I used to be one of like maybe two or three women. So you go into the bathroom, we have it all there ourselves. But now, it's almost equally split, male and female. It's really crazy how over just the last two years, it's drastically changed. So don't get discouraged, is what I'm saying, because there is a shift happening. More and more women are getting on YouTube, so that's becoming more, yeah. So it, it'll eventually taper into everything, and then whenever we're 20 years from now, we're gonna be, like it's gonna be nothing for male or female to be in it. And we're gonna yeah. be like, oh no, it didn't used to be this way. <laughs> no, maybe a bite of yours. I'll just take off girl. Coffee? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And again, thank you. No problem. Really are. Yeah, Do you hear my voice as well now? Yeah. I'm Bengt Ole Bistrom from Robosol. I'm a founder of that company. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. It was uh, 30 years ago, but for me, it, uh, it, I uh, remember it as it was yesterday. Wow. You're incredible. <laughs> <laughs> an extra day because we're in Sweden so let's take a day to explore and me being from Texas a lot of evergreen trees and so the yellows the reds they're just stunning to view as well as all of the bodies of water around here and then of course the unique building style of we're getting the shots good job all I do is get the shots so we just got off the tour bus beautiful scenery driving around Sweden and we're here at a museum that apparently they opened just for us I asked them what the museum is of, and they said a little bit of everything. So this should be interesting. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go have a look. Which name was the Dag Wallin? And Dag Wallin and Anders, they built, built this, this house and, and the, the start in 1981. So that was he was he was very highly motivated, and he could dig up money where no 
nobody else could find it. No. No. But before that, you come here and look. Look here. I have never seen. These are the most delicious fungus you can find. No, is it? Really? Yes. Is it Paliora? Yes. You see, and here. Wow. It's the biggest. I have never seen them as big as this. Do you cook it or eat it like that? Extremely delicious. The best yeah, you, you can it. find. You it. Fry it. Yes. Fry it. Yeah. You know, maybe butter. The best you can yeah, find. Yes. It's yes. salt and pepper. Excellent. And this size is mm. I have never seen. And there it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a full meal here. Wow. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, probably. Uh, can I sit? Yeah. No worries, you're about to play this. Ah, okay. We see if it works. Oh, we have to. Good for you. <laughs> Woo! Did the teacher play it though? You said it was in all the classrooms. Yeah, but yeah, but when I was small, it was instead pianos. But it was then in a piano in every classroom. Okay. But but originally it was in small organ. So I hope you like the museum tour. Quite the spot here. I'd say there's probably like a hundred buildings here of all sorts. Everyone has a purpose. One of them had a, was that a, a, a hairy buffalo or what was that? In that one? A mammoth. A mammoth. We had a mammoth in a building. We had a train in a building. We had a giant globe in a building. Quite incredible. And I think I just held the chainsaw from like the year 1500 or something. I don't know. But it was pretty awesome. Hope you enjoy the shots. And we're off to a fishing village now and we're gonna have a little fermented herring. Not Mwah. all of us. Woo. Looking forward to that one. So we made it. This was a small fishing village that we were told uh, back in the day people would come up here fish in the summers to catch herring and they would salt it and put it in wooden barrels. And because salt was very expensive, they only used a little bit of it, so the herring itself would actually ferment. And apparently, it does not taste very good, and the smell is even worse. But we're gonna hopefully try a little bit. So, let's go try it. So I've just been told there's actually people that live here that won't even be in the same room when they open up the can. So this will be very interesting. And because I have a broken ankle, Mr. Bus Driver here, He's nice. giving me the best service. He's taking me right down. Thank you. Oscar Sjöströmming. <laughs> How bad is it? Oh, it's really bad. It's uh, you could smell it like uh, 20 meters away, even outdoor. So it's bad. <laughs> that is, because it goes that like that. Is, uh, Listen, listen, wonderful sound. <laughs> oh, I smell it. I smell it. No way. Yeah. yeah. How bad is it? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> here it comes. Oh. I can't smell it it's yet. It's right here. I know, because the wind's going that way. Oh, I can taste it. No. <laughs> oh. Right? So, so is, is this what you tasted? Oh my god. No. <laughs> no. 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 I don't smell it. Come over here. See, the wind's going here. It comes and goes. You'll get it. Oh, this way. Come oh. that way. Oh, oh you got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's kind of like when we have our septic tanks pumped. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. I think you get numb after a while. Yeah. Oh, it looks worse. Oh, here it is. Wow. Oh, is that the intestines? Yes. I'm not Empty doing that. Do it. <laughs> we, are we are doing something very unique and special. This is fermenting fermented herring. It's I can't even describe the smell. Are you gonna eat it? I don't think no. so. But I we don't, don't have the, so. the thing uh, that's gonna go with uh, it. <laughs> you gotta have some. No, 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 no. Uh, for, oh, for the YouTube. For the content. Wait a minute. But you can make him a boost. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wow, super. I don't believe you. It's so. <laughs> it's so, so good. Alright, Paul, you're up. The smell is like. Yeah. Yeah. You want to pay? Uh huh. Really? Feed me. Feed it in. Ah! Oh! <laughs> What? I... So it's small, tiny, you, you, very quickly. You, you, Before I change my mind, you better give me the piece. So you, you just have a bite there. Oh no! I want to no. do what he did. Yeah. Where? There. Oh, this. There. Okay. Okay. Oh, this one. Oh. And take a little more. You have no. a little more. No. <laughs> what do you oh, think? Gosh. Oh, it's on my fingers. No. <laughs> I like I like Swedish, other than this. <laughs> it's just salt. It kind of tastes like it smells, but not as bad. No. Really? And if you no. Have this oh wow! Thing, Yay! <laughs> it's very good. No way! <laughs> I don't believe you. April, come on! What are you spooking? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> How bad? Oh, you have it. This experience. You can try. Hold it up. I feel like I have to, though. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. It's Wonderful. Kind of, it's like gooey. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, why do you have to do that? <laughs> <laughs> there are more in the can. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, lunchtime. We're here in the beautiful countryside of Sweden. I don't exactly know where we are, but it's definitely beautiful. We're here by a lake. We're gonna have a mixture of some, sounds like some wild meat, some deer. And I think I saw some fika. Time for some fika. So we're gonna enjoy this. I'm starving. You hungry? Yes. Starving. Oh. Having a great time though. We're having a blast. Oh, hello there. We're making a quick stop. We're here at the High Coast Bridge, and Sebastian's gonna give you some gro drone footage right now of it. Hopefully, the drone. Dr drawing. You're doing great. The drone comes back. <laughs> All right, the drone made it back. We hope you enjoy that footage. I was extremely nervous because there's cables, there's concrete, there's cars, and we had an audience. I was very, very nervous. It came back. Hope you enjoyed the footage. Now let's get on the back on the bus, back to the hotel, and we're gonna have a beautiful dinner tonight. Delicious dinner.
bounce. So that's the end of the vlog. We hope you enjoyed it. We had a fantastic time here in Sweden. Again, big, huge shout out to Logosol for inviting us over and just hosting us with royal treatment. It was, it was, I, I was gonna curse right there. It was awesome. We had a great time. This Saturday, we're gonna be at Lee Valley Tools at the Vaughn location, Legacy Lumber, myself, Canadian Woodworks. If you don't already know, stacks of lumber. I sell lumber also. That's my ad, there you go. We're gonna be there from 10 o'clock till four o'clock. Uh, super exciting. We're gonna be demoing for the cut saw wheel. I'll be carving some of my Maloof chair seats. Hope you come out. We're gonna be giving away some wood and we're gonna be having a bunch of never before seen live edge lumber uh, inventory that just came out of the kiln. So hope to see you there. Lee Valley Tools at the Vaughn location from 10 o'clock to four o'clock. And until next time, make it a great one. Make it a great one. It's a great day. Look at all the wood. It's not this stuff though. This is still green.